Hey guys, welcome to episode 41 of Techno News for the 22nd of May. Remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment or any more for engagement and follow me on my socials, X and TikTok, at Technofish Live. And if you want to discuss this or any of my other videos, please pop by my live streams from around 10 o'clock PM UK here on YouTube. Appreciate all the support, it does mean a lot. Uh, let's jump into the news and we'll have a bit of a catch up. Right guys, um, just a quick personal update. I've had a bit of a rebuild of the streaming PC. Um, obviously I did do an upgrade of both PCs recently, um, but my stream PC, I tend to sort of develop a bit of an audio lag the last week or so. And I started getting a couple of random blue screens of death, uh, which concerned us a bit. So I've done a rebuild of the PC, took it back to factory, and reinstalled everything. I took the opportunity to clean out a lot of old files and old scenes and sources in OBS that I didn't really use anymore. Rebuild the bots and me deck app um, just to try and get things running a bit more efficiently and cleanly for you guys and a bit easier for me. It's been a bit of a slog. It's took a couple of years but we have got there. Um, also with regards to personal achievements um we hit the first step of partner targets um so i've put the application in i'm hoping to hear you back um it is open we get accepted and we can start putting some incentives in place um if you've got any suggestions of what you'd like to see as the incentives uh please let us know in the chat uh, in the comments or come and talk to us in my streams would be very grateful for that also in valorant news i hit gold uh, which is another achievement in itself i set a target at the beginning of the episode that I wanted to hit gold. I started off iron three and I managed to hit gold the other night. So that's pretty much an achievement in itself. Now the next mission is trying to hold it and trying to get there again next time. Um do appreciate all the support. You guys have been fantastic throughout. Um and my ghost videos seem to be generating a lot more chat as well, which is welcomed feel free to watch a few of those and have a chat with us about that as well if you want to come by my streams and stuff that's all good speaking of valorant the masters in shanghai start tomorrow there should be some good games coming up in that starting off with g2 against t1 which could be a decent game to be fair so i might give that a watch i'm hoping depending on the time scales obviously with it being in asia the timing is a bit off so um i'll see what i can do it looks like it's going to be early morning start so we may or may not be able to catch a couple of games of that we'll see what happens and hopefully we can have a few watch alongs and see some of the games in play and see if we can have a discussion while we're playing while we're watching and stuff even that's all good uh, we are hoping to hit Premier this week too, if we can get the numbers. Uh, we are still waiting, but hopefully that will take place at 7 o'clock on a Wednesday and Thursday, 8 o'clock on a Friday, Saturday, and 7 on the Sunday. Um, I have got a busy weekend plan, though, so I'm hoping just to get on tonight and tomorrow, but we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully we can get the numbers. Yeah, so during my issues last night, um, I was trying to play X to find, but my stream had other ideas. I went on to Rainbow Six and it wouldn't entertain it. And my stream just pretty much shut down. So I had to close everything down, start again, check the settings and stuff. I did get back on. As I said, initially I couldn't get into X to Find because there was server problems as well. It wouldn't let us in the game, basically. Eventually, we did get into it. It seems good fun, to be fair. Um, I tried it ages ago and it doesn't seem to have changed that much from what I can tell. But um, it was only a quick look. I had a few games last night, but it was... It was pretty much COD with abilities. It was pretty frantic. Um, I wouldn't say it was offensive to the sensors or anything. It was all right. I may have revisited. Uh, the maps seem to be based around various Ubisoft franchises like The Division and Splinter Cell and stuff. And the characters were as well from where I gather. Um, I was some guy called The Cleaner who had a firebomb and... His ult seemed to be like a flamethrower, which was pretty decent to be fair. It was quite effective at the top of the stairs, blocking people. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, worth a look. If you haven't already, it is free to play, so feel free to jump in. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, speaking of The Division, there was a video, I think it was this video, about a year ago or so, um, with the devs saying how proud they were of it, and it was going to be a free-to-play version of The Division. 
but apparently it's now been axed um uh, for whatever reason i'm not sure whether it's just said they want to focus on other games that they've got in the works so it looks like it's been canned like i said it, it seemed to be pretty much complete from what i gather from some of the videos i saw back in the day and stuff it all just seemed to be pretty much ready to run but for whatever reason they've decided it's not to be um no great loss for me i didn't really enjoy the division it was just like pumping millions of bullets into a guy and numbers flying everywhere but never mind it was i'm sure there were people out there that enjoyed it hopefully they'll get some sort of other version of this in the time to come another game from ubi for an announcement trailer this week and that was assassin's creed shadows again not a franchise i'm really into personally um and never really played them i tried black flag because it seemed to be more up my street with the pirates and the boats and stuff but i just couldn't get into it they're just too big like uh, i don't enjoy games where you're just wandering around maps doing the same thing basically um i can see it's appeal to people and why they do like it um but there's been a bit of a uproar again with regards to this one because it's as you can probably see from the video it's set in sort of feudal japan um back in the day of the samurai and things like that but that's where the issue comes in it turns out one of the main characters is a samurai warrior but he's like a black guy um and he's one of the main protagonists and people aren't happy about that saying there wasn't black guys in japan back then and then there weren't samurais and what have you all the usual bs apparently i think it is based on an historical figure but i, I don't know the actual facts of it um so there's two main protagonists as this samurai guy and a Japanese woman who looks a bit like a, a stealthy ninja type. But again, that's causing problems. Um, in this one, they're going to tell you when like, they're going to force you to change between the two characters throughout the story. But in previous iterations where you had the choice, a lot of people weren't picking the female. So they've decided to force you to use her, basically. Um, a lot of political bullshit, to be fair, but people be people on the internet that's what it's all about nowadays apparently on to other news fallout seem to be milking all the can out of the success of the tv show they've decided they're going to be doing a fortnight fallout crossover where you get the power armor or the pip boy outfits and stuff like that um there's going to be certain parts of the map that sort of fit with the fallout vibe and stuff like that there's going to be some sort of event or something but similarly with that they also some data miners found some fallout assets in call of duty too so it looks like there's going to be characters and weapons and things involved in call of duty to do with fallout as well so like i said they seem to be milking it for all they can in the meantime Fair play to them, I guess, riding the wave, but... And speaking of Call of Duty, there were rumours that it's going to feature in the Game Pass. This one is going to be the first one to come out on release on Xbox Game Pass. No real details are given. There's rumours there's going to be price and restructures and bullshit to sort of suit. Um, be interesting to see what comes of that. But we are sort of coming to the point of so mid june time when we normally used to get e3 and all the expos and things like that so i'm assuming there will be a lot of news flying around in the next few weeks uh with regards to stuff the consoles and games in general so it's quite a intriguing time we'll see what comes of that it seems a bit strange because that's like a guaranteed money spinner every year call of duty for them but whether they're just relying on hoping to get everybody playing it if it's free and just flogging all the skins and stuff i don't know we'll see and finally there was an well a sort of announcement as such if you want to call it that grand theft auto 6 there's been a lot of rumors saying that it's been pushed back to 2026 and they're not going to hit the release schedule and things like that but in a statement recently take two ceo strauss zelnick stated he's confident that it will hit in fall 25 obviously they'll want to get it out sort of by 
Black Friday time so we would eat and get it for the Christmas rush. Not a game I'm that interested in to be fair. I mean it is going back to Vice City and I did enjoy Vice City back in the day but again it's another one of them games where you're just wandering around a massive map. We may have a look, we may not, I don't know. I'll see how I feel when it comes out if it's going to be appeal or not. So yeah, that's pretty much the news for this week. Hope it's been insightful for you. Yeah, like I said, I am grateful for all the support in the streams, in the videos, in me gameplay, in Valorant and things like that. There's been a lot of guys coming and helping out and playing and stuff. It's been good. Uh, we've had a, a good year, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with the way things are going. Well, in the meantime, if you would like to discuss anything I've sort of brought up here, please come by my streams. I'll leave you chat in the comments and I'll reply back to you I, do, I try to get back to you as soon as i can um watch for the vct watch along so hopefully we can get a couple of them on the go and i will be back streaming hopefully most nights from around 10 o'clock p.m uk uh, obviously now i'm hoping all the issues are sorted and we're actually focused on actually playing games and instead of faffing on with bloody computers and stuff but we'll see um but yeah thanks everyone and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers for watching.